Hi and hello friends and welcome back to Sweet Smith Home. Today's video is a bathroom deep clean. I've got to deep clean both bathrooms. They are horrible. <laughs> it's so bad. Um, but I've really got to get in there, not just pick it up, but I really want to scrub everything down. Clean the mirrors, clean the, t the um, tub and toilet really wipe everything down. I'm not going to go into a super like organizational video. I don't have time to like take everything out of the cabinets. I'm really going to focus just on sanitizing everything, especially the tubs, the toilets, the sinks, and then cleaning off the mirrors because some of them are really gross. Oh, and I want to sweep and mop the floors and I think I'm going to wash all of our bathroom rugs as well. So a lot to do today. Hopefully this video is super motivating and inspirational for you. I know even though the bathroom is like the worst room to clean, in my opinion, I know that we can do it for the health and sanit sanitization. No, <laughs> for the health and the cleanliness of our families. I know that this needs to be done. I know that you can do this with me. So I'm gonna have the music playing, I might be talking a little bit, but I'm encouraging you to get something done or if you can't get anything done right now to just sit back and enjoy and hopefully you'll see a very good transformation. <laughs> also, just to know, I'm gonna really try with the angles of this video, but my camera of three years broke. It broke in my last video when I was filming my fridge and pantry organization video. I dropped it, I was the one that broke it, I was carrying too much stuff, the camera was on, and I dropped it right on the lens. It's stuck open, so it won't close, I can't turn it on, I can't film anything. I think it's a goner. So for the next few videos, I really don't know. So we're gonna try the best we can, I'm sure we'll make it work though. So if you do like this type of video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. It really helps my channel out and I would love for you to join along with Sweet Smith Home for more homemaking and cleaning motivation, motherhood and secondary infertility content. Whew, that's just a lot of stuff I'm doing. Okay, <laughs> all right, let's get started. So I started with the kids bathroom first and all I did was start with picking things up. So I completely cleared off the floor cleared off the um, counter space and I'm just like throwing things away, putting things up. Just started with the, the easiest, honestly, kind of cleared all of my surfaces so that way I could start wiping things down. So I purchased this Method Foaming Tub and Tile Cleaner. I didn't really have anything specific to cleaning a tub and I didn't really want to use just like a multi-surface spray because my main goal of this was to deep clean the bathroom to actually scrub it down. And while I think that this spray did a good job, honestly I wouldn't use it for anything that really needs a lot of elbow grease. I felt like our tubs were pretty clean. I mean, we moved into this apartment, what, seven months ago? And so they were already clean then. It didn't really take a lot of scrubbing, honestly. Um, and while I was waiting for the tub cleaner to kind of set, I went ahead and cleaned the toilet bowl or put the cleaner in the toilet bowl. Sadly, we were out of the Clorox bleach cleaner. I try to stay away from kind of really toxic cleaners, so I got this seventh generation toilet bowl cleaner, and I don't have a problem with it, except it's not blue, which I know isn't that big of a deal, but it just doesn't look like it's cleaning it. So anyway, as the cleaner is sitting in the toilet, I got a little sponge and just started scrubbing. Like I scrubbed each shelf and the inside of the tub. There were just a few like soap scum, things like that, but it wasn't too bad. And so for a job that wasn't too bad, I feel like this tub and tile cleaner did an okay job. Wide awake is the way that you left me Sat beside in your car in the backseat Wide awake is the way that you left me 
just in case you are worried for not seeing a bath mat in our tubs, there's no need to worry. The bottom of our tub is actually super textured, so bath mats do not stay and they are not slick at all. And I think that's genius. I feel like all tubs should be like that. I love not having a bath mat, but then knowing that my kids and myself are safe. So for my kids' bath toys, I use this antibacterial multi-surface spray and I just really sprayed it down. I let it sit for like 15 minutes, I think is what it said, on the spray bottle and then completely rinsed them off like really, really good. I don't think you actually see that in this video. I didn't include it. And then I got these, I think in seventh generation disinfectant wipes to clean the toilet. Uh, usually I use a multi-surface spray and just wipe it down with a microfiber cloth, but I really wanted to disinfect. And so this, you wipe it down and it looks kind of wet and bubbly, but then it dries and it dries really well. I couldn't even tell that I had used like a bubbly material. <laughs> like I couldn't tell, it dried really well. And the toilet just smelled and looked really clean after using it. So then I swept and mopped. The first thing I did when moving to mine and Dallas's bathroom was collect the bath mats and that's when I started the washer with all of our bath mats in it. And then I just did the same thing. I picked everything up off the floor and cleared off the countertops to get all the surfaces ready for a good deep I just had to show right here as I was cleaning up the, the towels, I found a golf ball in the bathroom. I don't know why, I just thought that was the funniest thing because why would a golf ball be in the bathroom? But you know, it is what it is. So I got all the towels, everything picked up, I'm taking everything out of the shower, and I'm just gonna do exactly what I did in the first bathroom. I'm gonna spray the tub down with that foaming tub and tile and let it sit for a little bit. Um, I think it was like five to 10 minutes to kind of sit and disinfect. And then I'm gonna take my sponge and scrub it all down. So if you do not have a removable shower head, please leave in the comments below how you rinse off your tub. All I did was fill a cup up with water and literally just pour water over the shelves and the sides of the tubs. And all I thought the whole like few minutes of me doing that was this would be so much easier if I had a removable shower head. So if you're there, you don't have that and you're using cups to rinse off your bathtub, just know you're not alone. I'm right there with you and it is not fun.
So since you didn't see this in the kids' bathroom, I'm going to explain what I did to the countertops. I just took the Branch Basics bathroom spray, so kind of like a multi-purpose spray. I think it's just a little stronger. And I sprayed the countertops and the sinks and just wiped them down with a microfiber cloth. And then I took, I believe it was a Method glass spray or a Branch Basics glass spray. I have both. I just took a glass spray cleaner and sprayed the mirrors and then wiped those down as well. the video with some before and afters I did not get very good after videos but that's because my phone was really acting up I think with the amount of video recording that I was doing on my phone and so I just got really quick clips of the bathrooms completely cleaned I'm sorry I didn't get a little closer to like inspect the toilets and the tubs but honestly Dallas and the kids both said something about how good they smelled about how clean they looked and I think it was just overall it was just way cleaner and it contributed to the overall well-being of our home so if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up like comment subscribe and my friends I will see you in our next video